Hi, Jan here again. The uh, video today is dealing with not a very pleasant subject, but it happens to a lot of us, and that's nosebleeds. Now, you might not realize this, but there are actually two different types of nosebleeds, and they are as different as night and day in as far as the seriousness of them is concerned. So the most common one is called an anterior nosebleed. And this nosebleed originates from just inside the nostrils here. And what quite often causes that nosebleed is that the lining of the nostrils has become very, very thin and the blood vessels become very, very close to the surface. So if you blow your nose a little hard or if you're scratching your nose or something like that, then that can start that particular nosebleed. Now that's not to say that uh, it can't be quite a significant bleed. You, you might uh, feel that it is bleeding quite a lot, but compared to the other type of nosebleed, there really isn't any comparison. So about 90% of all nosebleeds are of the anterior variety, so that's the good news. The other 10% are called posterior nosebleeds. Now, we have our nostrils here, but the, the nose goes back deeper and there's areas that cannot be seen further back in the uh, nose area there. So these particular 10% of nosebleeds are coming from that far, far back region. If um, the doctor was to examine your nose with an instrument, if you were having an anterior nosebleed, of course when it's cleared up, he would be able to determine where that bleed was coming from and at his discretion he might decide to uh, cauterize that spot uh, with the hopes that you wouldn't bleed from that area again. However, the difference with a posterior nosebleed is that regardless of the instrument, there is no way that the doctor can actually locate that particular spot where the bleed is coming from. So that makes it uh, a lot more difficult to handle. Now, um, my husband has suffered for oh, over 20 or 30 years with nosebleeds and he has had his nose cauterized many, many times. So we know that his are anterior nosebleeds. However, very recently, in the last six weeks or so, I have experienced three posterior nosebleeds. And the last one was so severe that uh, we were in a restaurant and the uh, people there brought their first aid kit. We weren't able to stop the nosebleed, so we had to call an ambulance. It did take the attendants half an hour to stop the nosebleed. And they wanted to take me to the hospital. Uh, so what they do when they take you to the hospital is they pack, not just your nostrils, but they pack um, just a very, very deep area going way back further than the nostrils. Uh, but I declined. Uh, we were out of town and I didn't really want to go to a hospital in another town. But that um, just goes to show that a posterior nosebleed can be severe enough to call an ambulance or to take you to the hospital. So what I suggest as far as the uh, posterior nosebleeds are concerned is to uh, make an appointment with your family doctor as soon as you can and ask him to refer you to an ear, nose and throat specialist because what you want to do, you want to have that uh, specialist determine the cause of these posterior nosebleeds and then hopefully you are going to be able <coughs> excuse me, to come up with a plan of action so that uh, they don't continue to happen. There are various reasons why it could be happening. There could be some deficiency uh, in your vitamin and mineral um, levels. Uh, so there are various things that the doctor would check into. But uh, suffice it to say, it can be very scary to have a posterior nosebleed. So my recommendation certainly is to try and remain as calm as you can 
and to not panic and to just hold uh, your nose, pinch your nose and don't let go for at the very, very least 10 minutes. Anyway, I just wanted to explain to you uh, how different the two types of nosebleeds are. So when you do, uh, if you do unfortunately have a nosebleed and if you are bleeding profusely then you might assume that uh, perhaps this is a posterior nosebleed and when it's all over get yourself to your doctor. Okay, so we will see you the next time for another subject. Bye-bye.